All right, so there was a lot of excitement when I posted this. This is the E Saint Laurent number 900 color story. No, it is not available in the United States, not just quite yet. Um, I am trying to find out if it's actually going to be available in the United States, and as soon as I know, I will let all of you know. But I am gonna do an eye look with it today so you guys can see it so that if you can order it, you'll know what it looks like. All right, so if I look at the E. Saint Laurent site and I look at the Canada site, it does look like the blue is available there. Let me know if that's true. Although it says try it on it. I'm not sure if I can tell if I can buy it. It's really interesting. It's the, this is the YSL Beauty um, site and it says discover, but it doesn't actually look like you can buy it. It's a little confusing actually. I'm trying to figure it out, but it doesn't make it easy. Hmm. All right, well the number is 900 and it's Palmare Skies probably mispronouncing that, uh, but is available. Like you can see it, but you can't add it to the bag, which is interesting. Um, I don't exactly, I don't exactly understand. It, it says that there are for the, the YSL collection, I've done a number of videos. I've done 100, 200, 300, 400. Is that right? <laughs> and I still have to do 600, 900, and 910, which is like the white and uh, like a gold and black one. It says that there are six nude palettes inspired by the dusky pinks of the Casbah, the spice colors of the souks, and the soothing tones of the designer's Paris LTA, and two limited edition bold statement palettes. So I think I'm taking from that, this is me extrapolating here, that this one, the 900 Palmieri skies, which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, um, and then the 910 Trocardo Knights are the ones that are limited edition and will not be part of the permanent collection. I do have both of those. The, that's the other one that has the silver, the yellow, the black, and the pink. It was available at Bloomingdale's. It's sold out right now, uh, but I'll do a look with that one as well. So I think this one, the 900, and that one, the 910, are the limited edition shades. It doesn't specifically say that, but these are the ones that are, you know, more bold, if you will. <laughs> and they say six, like, nude, six nude uh, color stories. And it goes 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And then this one is 900 and then 910. So it, that's, you know, me, that's the way my brain has worked um, with this. So let me show you the swatches of this. Um, let me know if you want me to compare yeah, compare this to anything. I don't have the blue one in the clay de peau. Uh, and I'm not sure if I'll be picking it up anytime soon. I kind of was leaning it. I mean, I, I probably will get it eventually, but... Um, you know, not right away. So I'm gonna take this very light blue and we're gonna use that kind of as a transition here. So I know, you know, this is this and the 910 are, like I said, the most uh, bold ones, but I do wanna say that, you know, you can wear blue eyeshadow or green eyeshadow or any other color eyeshadow um, and it doesn't have to be dramatic. Now, as I've mentioned, the um, Yves Saint Laurent shadows are more dramatic and more, uh, what's the word, um, more attention getting than the clay de pose. The clay de pose are definitely a softer look overall, just the way that they're created and, you know, frankly, the, the formula. But the East Saint Laurent's, they have the ability to be very soft as well. It's just that they have the capacity to be you know, showstoppers if you choose to have them that way. So let me just like start with like this blue. So this is a very light blue shade. It's like a baby blue. You could take this and just put this on the eye, just, you know, diffuse it out and use a little bit of like a deeper blue eyeliner and be done with it. You don't have to, you know, make this a dramatic look if you don't want to. I just feel like because this gives you the capability to do it, like, why not? Um, you could buy the clay to pose if you're looking for something that's much more subdued. So I'm gonna take this bright blue. I'm not gonna use a ton of the bright blue. This is like, my husband calls it a Smurf blue. It's like one of my favorite blues. I love wearing this color. It's not really a Prussian blue. A Prussian blue has more 
uh, it's close to a Prussian blue, but a Prussian blue is deeper. If you've worked with uh, oil paints, you know what I'm talking about. But a Prussian blue, or if you're a big fan of Picasso, um, it has like a, you know, a deeper blue to it. But this is cerulean. I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's, it's a beautiful blue. And it actually, in and of itself, would be nice with other uh, palettes. So I'm going to make sure I remember to keep this one in the back of my mind when I'm thinking of a look. Because I think this is a, a blue that is actually quite pigmented and really just, you know, has a nice undertone to it. Um, it's hard to find a blue that works that way and actually, you know, has pigment and doesn't like disappear. Uh, I'm just going to soften this in this area here and just pull it a little up into the, the brow. Not a lot, just enough to get some shade into the brow without necessarily placing the shade there. That's a way like you can always do with, um, you know, shadow. If you, if you put it on your transition and then sort of blend up into the brow, then you get that shade from the brow without like, you know, placing it there. Little hairs. Okay. Now I do have some fallout. Um, and I do have some like extra on the outside. I always clean that up afterwards. I feel like it's more freeing that way. It's just my, my way of doing it. But you can see, this is a beautiful shade. It is definitely a blue look. Like at the moment, it's blue. Okay, so not, not saying it's not. Um, now I'm gonna take this light green shade. It's like a mint, um, as you saw in the, um, the swatches. And I'm gonna put this on the eyelid. I'm gonna use my uh, Hakahoto brush here. This is number S123. I have a 120 as well. And this shade is almost um, like a multi-chrome. Um, it's not, it, but it has a shift to it that is really interesting. And I don't, it's almost, almost like an opalescent kind of shift, which I really like. That reminds me of a mermaid. If you're doing mermaid makeup, that would definitely fit. Now, I am purposely making this look more, um, minty blue instead of blue blue. If you want to focus on the blues, use much less of this and use way more of this. All right, so let me clean up the outside of my eye for a second and then we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how the black can change the look quite a bit. So we've got like mermaid vibes going on here. I think you can see that with the, the green, like I said, it's like an opalescent green. I really, really like that. Okay, so now the black is a sparkly black but on the eye, it doesn't really look, in my opinion, that sparkly. So depending on how deep you wanna make this look, use less or more of the black. And if you wanna make this look deeper, put the black on your eye first. You can put it on very, very lightly. And if you put that like mint green sh shade over it, that looks absolutely stunning. It's definitely dramatic, but it's a gorgeous look. All right, so I'm gonna take the black and I'm using like this very, very small, very small brush because I want to just keep it very specific here on the outer corner of the eye. I'm almost just putting it like in a V here outside of the eye. That was it. That's all I'm doing with that. I want to keep the look about the, the bright colors. But like I said, if you don't, if you want to deepen it, or if you want to have the look like be more dramatic, put the black down first and you're going to get a very different look. It won't be mermaidy. It'll be more like like a Studio 54 kind of thing. Okay. See how specific I was with the black. All right, now I'm gonna take this is the uh, Victoria Beckham. This is the Electric Blueberry shade. These were her limited edition shades. I think they're still available. I hope they're still available. Very bright blue. These are super smooth. As I've said a million times with these, you know, be careful how much you put on because once they go on, like they just they're, they're so smooth that they go on like super easy, which is great, but before you know it, you have like way too much liner on your eyes and you're like, oh. And once they set, they're a little harder to get off. All right, so now I'm gonna take the black with this very small brush and go over that line, just on the upper lid. Leave it bright blue on the bottom. Okay, let me clean up the eye, put on mascara, and I'll show you what the final look looks like. Definitely a dramatic look, no doubt. I used all the shades. I definitely put more of that minty green. 
on the eye, like to, to make it look more like pearlescent, opalescent, mermaidy, whatever you want to call it. If you use more of the blues, you're gonna get more of the blue, less of the green. The black I used in a very limited way to keep the look like, you know, more of that ocean kind of uh, vibe. The more black you use, the more intense it's gonna be and the deeper the look is gonna be. Again though, you can use any of these shades by themselves. You could use the light blue by itself. You could use that blue, it's just a very little accent. But this particular quad is bold. There is no doubt about it. That is why I think uh, YSL did this one as 900 and the other one as 910. These are the bold limited edition ones. I think it's something that is meant for, you know, not an everyday look. Unless you're somebody who does this as an everyday look, which is also possible. I mean, again, all of us are different. My thoughts on it is that it absolutely is beautiful and I love it. Will I wear this every day? No. <laughs> I will not. Uh, just, you know, like I, I certainly don't feel like I would wear this to one of my conferences. I just don't feel like it would be particularly appropriate for that. That's me. That's my comfort level. Like I said, everybody's different, but I feel like it would be too much. Uh, would I wear this on a night out to like a special dinner or if I was in New York, if I was in London, if I was doing something fun and different? Absolutely. Um, in fact, I could see me using the mint shade more than anything else because I feel like that shade is really like an opalescent mint and I could add it just like to all over eye look and it'd be beautiful. The blue shades in here, I do love. I do love the blue shades in here. Um, and the baby blue is a great baby blue. That deep blue, that, um, it's almost like the electric blue in the Victoria Beckham liner. It's similar. Um, and it, it's a gorgeous color. And it's a color that I actually, like I said, I wear a lot in clothing. So it's the kind of accent color that I could see me like bringing with me, even though I might not use the overall quad, because it'd be a great accent to pick up on the color that I'm wearing. Um, like I, I literally have a sweater that color, pants that color, a leather jacket that color. So it's a favorite of mine, but it's not for everybody. I absolutely get that. And I had this conversation with, you know, some newer folks and I talked about it in my Will I Buy It. Neutrals are popular for a reason. I get that. I get it's easier to use and, and not everybody feels like they want to wear blue and green with like, you know, black sparkly shades. <laughs> totally get it. Um, so yeah, I think this is a special occasion for most people. Uh, quad. When it's available in the US, I will let you all know. I have not seen it here. I did get mine overseas. So just letting you know if you're overseas you can I think you can get it I think Paris has it too I think you can get it there um but it looks like like I said I was on the East Saint Laurent East Saint Laurent site uh this is the Canada site and it it does does like it shows up but it, it doesn't say you can purchase it which is interesting like it's there the U.S. site has the same thing like it's there but it's not for purchase which is so interesting so odd. Um, it's also available on Selfridges. Uh, so on the Selfridges site, 100 is not available, 300 is not available, 400 is not available, 500 is not available, 600 is not available. They're all sold out. Uh, there's a three left of 200 and that's it. Um, but there's no, there's no blue. So again, I will continue to stock the websites and see if I can find this color story. Also, I would keep looking at Selfridges and uh, Bloomingdale's. The colors have been going in and out of stock. So if you see them there, I wouldn't wait if you really, if you want them. Again, I think the 100 through 600 are part of the permanent collection. I don't think they're going anywhere. So they should be back eventually. Uh, but the 900 and the 910, I think these are limited editions and I just don't know really what that means because this is a new launch. So I don't know if, I don't know if they're not restocking them. I, I just really don't know. Um, if you're interested in this one and you can get it overseas, um, or if I see it in the US, I'll let you know. The other one, the 910 with the silver and the gold and the black one, that was at Bloomingdale's. It's sold out right now. I think that's limited edition too. So if you see it and you absolutely want it, I would not wait. Again, I'm not one of those people that go out and buy it immediately, but I just, I wouldn't want to tell you to wait and then it doesn't come back. The other ones, 100 to 600, I think those are part of the permanent condition, uh, permanent collection. So. I would love to hear your thoughts on this quad, whether it's something you'd even want to pick up given the bold nature of it. I love it, but you know, I, I, it's not gonna be for everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.